Hey, brothers and sisters, Mellon, how you doing? This brother Wilson here. Uh, we got a lot that's going on right now, uh, as far as planetary is going on. Um, you got lakes and uh, rivers drying up. You know, like I told you last time, the um, the Mississippi River is pretty much bone dry. The Great Lakes are on an all-time low. The Great Lakes, I mean, the fresh water is, is drying up all over the world. Uh, Colorado River, uh, the Nile, you know, um, Euphrates is pretty much bone dry. The Euphrates is number land. It's a lot going on, brothers and sisters. And this new shift that's coming, the shift that's coming, and it's going to come fast. What uh, we cosmic elders did was we sent messages to the so-called elite corporates. You know, you know, even sent a message on one of Donald Trump's pages. Um, basically, the message says, "We cosmic elders." We've opened up a colossal hole over the North Pole. This was, this is, we're doing this to bring in the cosmic energy, that Christ energy. That Christ energy, we, we're doing that. So there's nothing but cosmic heat that's coming into the planet. Uh, these Caucasoids had already planned for, um, they had already planned for snow, this to create snow and all that. But they didn't know our plans, you know, and, you know, it wasn't for them to know our plans. But, you know, we told them that there is a colossal hole over the North Pole, directly over the North Pole. And it was like, um, have your scientists check it out. Look right over the Aurora, the, the uh, Aurora Borealis. Excuse me, guys. Uh, tongue twist. Uh, have your your scientists look over the aurora borealis, and they will see the colossal hole. This is your chance to get off the planet. This is your chance to get off the planet. We told these couples, this is your exodus. Take advantage of this because they will have ninety days to get off the planet. <laughs> They will have 90 days to get off the planet. And when that, when those gates close over the North Pole after 90 days, that chance will never come again for them. Because what's going to happen is the pole shift. The pole shift is going to happen. North will be south. South will be north. West will be east. East will be west. All right, there's going to be a complete shift in all the poles, and this is because our planet is moving into higher dimensional energy. Like I said before, our planet uh, is moving into the ninth, tenth dimensional area. Our planet is not in the fourth dimension. The planet has been past the fourth dimension. Some of our people are in the fourth dimension because, you know, now they're starting to awaken. But our planet doesn't sit and wait on our on the people. It's our people who's supposed to be um, moving with the planet. So as the energy becomes greater, as they move through, as our planet moves through these uh, 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 thick energy portals through the cosmos, now that there's more energy, our planet has to expand. So that's why you have all these earthquakes going on. Because our planet is expanding exponentially. Our planet is expanding. So, um, and that cosmic shift is going to happen when we finally, you know, uh, um, when we finally come into the, the full power of... Um, this uh, shift 
or this 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 movement into into this dimensional energy. When we come into the full power of this dimensional energy, this is when um, that pole shifts. And according to the High Cosmic Council, we Cosmic Elders, ninety days, ninety days for the completion. All right. Now also in this instance. We're going to gain a new sun. There are a lot of people have been seeing twin suns. We've been seeing twin suns. See, what happens is, uh, I think I explained to this, to, to this to you guys before. As our planet grows and becomes larger, well, it needs more celestial beings or more celestial bodies. So because our planet is growing and it's going to become even larger, one sun is not enough. We're going to have another sun, which that sun will be Nibiru, and Nibiru will shine brighter than Ra. All right? And as our original sun, Ra, sits in the west, as it sets in the west, our new sun, Nibiru, will be rising in the east. So we're coming into days without nights, which means that's going to do away with time. And it's going to be hot. Yes, it will. Um, and these things are, are happening now because it because this is this is our planet's way in the, in the cosmic way of purging our planet. Now, what's going to happen with these carcassoids? Well, you know, this energy is going to be so heavy. This energy is going to be heavy. I'm serious. Hey, remember I told you guys, I said, I said, these carcassoids, their, their, their brains are scheduled to be deactivated. All right. So this is the time when, um, these carcassoids brains are become, going to become like mush. It's going to be like putty, like mush, like, um, because they do not bear the the uh, the metals and the crystals and the and the minerals as we people of melanin do. All right, that's why they're trying to give themselves melanin shots. But you know, you can give yourself a melanin shot, but you gotta have a melanated spirit. Your spirit has gotta be melanin also. These carcassoids, they have a totally different spirit. Their spirit is sulfur. Our spirit is hydrogen. It's two two totally different uh, 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 spirits. So, you know, that's why they have the, you know, sulfur works best in the cold, <laughs> you know, hydrogen works best in the heat, you know, it's, it's, it, that's just the way it is. So, um, as our planet <clears throat> um, gets bigger, the earth, the earth, our planet is going to shake, the entire planet is going to shake, all right, and this is going to be the pole shift, all right. And as this pole shift um, uh, moves on, you got you got some government people saying that the pole shift is going to last for an hour. But the problem is, is that they've never been through a, a pole shift before. All right. They've never been through a pole shift before, so they can't say how long it's going to last. They can't say that this pole shift is, you know, this this shifting of, uh, of the polar energy is going to last uh for an hour or two hours because um, as far as I know it lasts for a week for for everything to uh, fall into play the way it's supposed to so this is what's happening brothers and sisters um, we're coming into a definite pole shift and according to the cosmic elders we're talking um, 90 days the high cosmic council talking 90 days all right so um i've always been telling you guys canned goods dry goods water These things are happening there's earthquakes everywhere all over the world there's earthquakes and that's because our planet is growing bigger and our planet is moving through the cosmos and and she is not waiting on any of us to catch up with her all right She's not waiting on any of us to catch up. It's up to us to go deep within ourselves, meditation, 
and uh, and using the frequencies, the crystals and all, it's up to us to catch up with her. All right, because we got to catch up with her. Now she she's not going to sit and wait for us because things are just it's going to move on. Things are going to move on. So yes, these these carcassoids, you know, the, those who remain on the planet. All right, this is the whole Left Behind series because they knew it was going to happen. This is the whole Left Behind series. Those who want to remain on the planet. It's not trials and tribulations. It's just that they're going to be deactivated. You know, they they're gonna they won't even know that they're pissing and shitting on themselves. You know, I'm serious. And this is going to be end the end of that race on our planet. So we need to take this stuff serious, my people. We really need to take this highly serious <clears throat> and see. And focus on everything that's going to be that's going to be going on in the next few months, the next ninety days. All right. Actually, now it's eighty-nine days. Actually, because that was yesterday, it was ninety days. Today is now eighty-nine days. So in the next eighty-nine days, we need to watch everything that's going on. You know, and it's important for us to really keep our eyes open. You know, forget about the football, the baseball, the basketball, all the celebrity gossip, whatever. Because that stuff doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is this pole shift that's going to happen. There'll be no more money. There'll be no jobs. There'll be no no businesses open. No businesses. There'll be nothing. There'll be craters everywhere. Bridges are going to fall down. Earth, the earth is going to shake. All the volcanoes are going to erupt at the same time. I mean, it's it's going to be it's going to be chaos. But above all. Those who possess melanin, those who are melanated beings, all right? Your melanin will be your salvation. Whether you're awakened or asleep or partially awakened, your melanin is going to be your salvation. All power to the people of melanin.